Uh, I don't know, man. You're you're doing a lot of stuff, Steve. <laughs> so <laughs> you're I like everywhere. Uh, like right now, I'm playing Starfield, right? And yes. so I'm just looking at your credits. I'm like, oh my god, I did not get to talk to your character in the game. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think there's like a, a few characters. There's a there's a headlock, which is some gangster. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm, a, I'm some neon security. I'm also uh, uh, the guy. What's his face? Uh, uh, he's uh, it's Daisuke. Daisuke. Right? Daisuke. That's yeah. the big one. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you got some opportunities. If you didn't meet Daisuke, you could still meet Headlock. And then also there's a uh, Emerson. There's a uh, some something Emerson. He, he's around there too. He's another. Uh, he's actually the level that they patched where they had the mud. The that, mud. Uh, you could get. You could get infinite supplies. Well, if oh, you pass the oh. Mud, yeah, if you pass the money and go to Emerson's shop, you can talk to me. So, there's okay, plenty of so, so you're, 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 yeah, the pass, you, before the pass, you were the go to guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Third yeah. reactor, roll out. Oh, my God. You're so, yeah, like, you're doing a lot of things and oh, you. so many projects. Oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. What, how does it feel like on your end? I don't know. Like, uh, you're, yeah, you're you doing know, them all well, back to back. Yeah. Well, on my end, you know, well, that's the funny thing about video game development, right? It's like you'll do these projects and it'll take like sometimes years uh, and then they kind of spread out the work. So, you know, you're working on stuff and you can never tell anybody what you're doing. And of course, you know, in this industry, you want to, you have to because uh, you need to let people know what you're doing so you can get more work. Uh, yeah. So it, it is interesting. Sometimes I feel like I'm just twiddling my thumbs, <laughs> just waiting for stuff to come out. But I'm well, happy yeah. that it seems like there is a lot of work. I, you know, I have always aimed to be like the the Asian American Samuel L. Jackson. I just want to be everywhere, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you're definitely there the in work. the video game space and also the other stuff. Uh, not sure if we can talk about that because of the whole theater strike thing. But you let me know, oh, like whether. Sure. It's like it's like no, yes, oh, yeah, no, right. yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, so. there is, there is a lot of yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Great timing. We can talk about the video game stuff, though. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so now the big, the big thing that's coming out, uh, um, yeah, Spider Man Two. Yes. Yeah. And 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 now you can like start talking about it. <clears throat> yeah. And what I liked about the first game, playing it, your your character Martin Lee, I was like, dude, like we get like this main character villain, and you know, I, I'm I'm Asian too, so like I'm excited yeah. seeing like in a Spider Man franchise, like. Oh God! You're choking Sorry. up. You're so. I know. Uh, <laughs> I'm choking up right now. I'm emotional right now. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, you and me both. We'll get some water. It's all good. Yeah. No, I was I was like eating chips before, but I know I'll, I'll get choked up for this too. <laughs> Dude, funny story. I almost died choking on a chip before I went on. You know, I used to do live shows before I got into you know acting out in video games and stuff. So yeah, I was doing this live show once and had a bag of chips right before the show. Did the exact same thing in front of like 200, 300 people. I'm doing this show. I'm choking. And I'm oh, like, no. no, seriously. And people are laughing because they thought it was part yeah. of the show. And I'm like, yeah. no, seriously. I, I, I'm choking to death. So <laughs> I'm with you. That's good. That's good. Like you, you can, you can know, relate. Because like, I hope, it's like, I hope Steve is like, uh, yeah, he's it's chips, <laughs> chips, something with chips. It's like, <laughs> I didn't know that was going to no, happen man. to me. <laughs> no, no, you're good. No, but like, uh, you know, the Spider Man is amazing. I mean, the new trailer, the 60 second trailer, just yeah. dropped, yeah. which looked incredible. And I, you know, I work with those those people at Blur Studio that actually animated that that trailer as well. So it's such a small world, man. The video game world is so so small, and I love it, and I love all the people. And yeah, I'm just excited as everybody else for Spider Man Two to come out. You know, October twentieth. I mean, October. I don't even need to say it because everybody already knows. Everyone, yeah. I don't need to even advertise. <laughs> everybody knows. Everybody's gonna get it, and everybody's gonna play. And I hope everybody likes it. I think they've got some some surprises in store for people. That oh yeah, you know, I see. I see some of the some of the online chatter uh, about like you know people kind of guessing story plots and some of these leaks and it's like, yeah, I mean, they're kind of wrong on a lot of them. So, yeah, of course. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, be, you're behind the scenes. You're in it. You know, like what it right. is seeing it firsthand. And of course, like the online, 
Like we we don't know. We can't. We're not there. So all we have to do is just guess on what's going to happen. <laughs> Hey, they're n- not to discredit, right? They are good yeah. guesses. You know, yeah. Some of them are like, oh man, that, that could actually be super cool. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I think the people are in for some pretty huge surprises. It's going to go in places that they didn't really expect. Certainly took me in places I didn't expect. So, uh, you know, if it takes me by surprise, I, you know, hey. Yeah. <laughs> I can only expect good things. So. And I, I think with like just what I love with you on this project, it's like they have your face in the uh, the video game, and you're you're right. acting in at your voice, and then you you do you do the motion capture too, right? So it's like it's yes. all you. Yes. And compared to just like the uh, other projects where sometimes you're doing like the stunt performing, you're wearing a mask, or sometimes it's just Absolutely. like one one dialogue or two dialogue. But this this is like you're you're the guy, like you're like. You're in a lot of the like the first Spider-Man video game, and yes. you're like a pivotal character just for like Peter Parker. You're running the, uh, the organization. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so absolutely. Listen, listen. This game, <laughs> like no exaggeration, Spider-Man changed the trajectory of my career and my life. Right? It's like uh, I was doing stunt work for many, many years. Over, I want to say like over ten. 12 years, I was doing stunts, you know, on TV and video games, right? Uh, A lot of nameless, faceless guy coming in, doing some martial arts, getting beat up, and then get off screen, (laughs) right? (laughs) And I was doing some motion capture, like I said, for Blur, uh, and they were, like, very cool cinematics, right? A lot of, like, the Star Wars, Old Republic uh, all that lightsaber fighting stuff. Like uh, I was very fortunate to be a part of those projects. But like you said, I never they never saw my face. They never saw, saw who I was, and I wasn't really able to talk that much. And then you know I book Spider Man, and I still remember even when Spider Man went to Comic Con, and I think it was what two thousand. 16 or 17 I, I booked it 2016 I want to say we went to comic-con like 2018 maybe something like that and I remember people didn't know who mr. negative was and I remember when they announced me as an actor to come in on the stage Paul H imagine this we'll have 8,000 people you know when it's Yuri when it's all the other everybody's like yes and then they go mr. negative Steve no young and it's like cricket cricket <laughs> <laughs> But now the game comes out and everybody knows. I mean, I'm on sets for, for thankfully, like movies and whatever TV shows recently. And it's like people will come up to me and be like, hey, man, uh, you're Mr. Negative, right? And it's like <laughs> everybody plays video games, which is amazing. It's a bigger market just money wise than, you know, even movies and television. So really, like I said, it changed my the trajectory. And then after that, you know, Spider-Man came out. That's when I was able to get a voiceover agent, right? That's when my my manager was like, maybe you should get a voiceover agent. I didn't have a VO agent before. And that's how I even got into all the rest of the games. So I owe a lot to uh, Spider-Man. Oh and yeah. And of course, the universe and the universe blood. and all that. You yeah. Know? And it doesn't it doesn't help that Spider-Man is a popular character, <laughs> and right. and also doesn't help that the video game is awesome. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Because you know you can get in a lot of video games, uh, but this is you're right. It's like it was a perfect timing, you know. And obviously, MCU is huge. Spider Man is the biggest superhero, you know, franchise in the world. So yeah, to be a part of that is is totally wild. And yes, you're right. Even the decision to use my face, uh, you know, again as an actor, like I was just like, thank you. <laughs> People can see what I look like. Yeah. No, because, like, I've, uh, like, just a whole, you could, it's like the side of the industry. You got the stunt performers and then you have the yeah. actors. Sometimes right. they can blend where the stunt performers become like the actors. And I think Absolutely. you're like a rare case. Like, I think really rare, yeah. rare because I don't think I've noticed a lot of like stunt performers getting to do a lot of other things. Absolutely. And, yeah. And you're like, like I'm, I'm telling you, there's like 10 of us probably in the whole industry that are like that were like stunt guys that did stunt acting or action acting as I like to call it and then transition straight into just straight up acting 
you know, for for all the mediums, right? There's, there's yeah. very, very few of us because they did, you know, the business does like to kind of put you in in a box, right? Just just for efficiency's sake. So yeah, I, I agree. I think it's very, very rare. And like I said, sometimes I wake up and I'm just like, I don't know how I got here. This is insane. Yeah, you, you <laughs> deserve it. You sh- shut up. You deserve oh, thank it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You know, like, especially I'm now. Your, yeah. I'm trying to get into your world, man. I'm like, yes, <laughs> let me, let me get a cool setup like you, you know, I'm, I'm actually going to screenshot this. Taking notes. Like, yeah. You're, you're good where you're at. Like, uh, cause oh, yeah. I, I, I enjoy going on whenever I get invited to go to sets. I'm like, ah, oh, this is like yeah. the best thing ever. And even like the downtime of just standing there and waiting till they roll. I'm like, this is still cool because it's yeah. the set. And it's the, it's, it's why we're in the industry because it's like this whole world being brought to life. I totally yeah. agree. Actually, some of my favorite times are the down times because you get yeah. free snacks. <laughs> Crafty, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are my yeah. Those are my favorite moments too. And I know like the the game. Okay, Spider Man Two is not out yet. I'm not it's sure not. what you sign on your NDA on what you can or Ooh. can't talk about with your character. My whole life. Yeah. We do know. We do know. It's yeah. Martin Lee. <laughs> Yes. He's a villain. Look, look, yeah, we can say, yeah, I mean, people are speculating, oh, you know, what is he in this? And, you know, he's the same old good old Martin Lee, Mr. Negative, right? (laughs) So that's, you will see Mr. Negative come in. uh, As you saw in the trailer, it was like blink and you miss it. But yeah, I mean, that, okay, talk about face stuff, right? With, with Spider-Man. Like, I love the chatter because, uh, you know, Jacinda Chu and Brian Intihar and the whole team at Insomniac, they made that choice to to give Martin Lee a kind of a new a new look, right? <laughs> Which I thought was pretty cool, you know? And and a lot, I think it's so funny that people are like, oh, this guy looks like either Keanu Reeves or Adam Driver <laughs> or, or who's that one uh, podcaster, uh, that streamer, what's his face? But you Market know- Markiplier? <laughs> yeah, Markiplier, exactly. I'm like, all right, I guess it's the angle of the camera. So yeah, yeah, that scene is definitely we can talk about that because you saw it. But yeah, definitely, Miles sees Martin. Okay, and uh, that after that, I can't really say anything. But <laughs> there is definitely, there is definitely some stuff going down with those two for sure. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. Like, uh, cause you have the, uh, the first game, Peter and Martin, and now you're going to get the, the miles yeah. aspect with Martin. And yeah. the, the thing about that, I love about these Spider-Man games, all the characters, uh, even if they're, they're villains, you can relate to them and they're, they show their human side and then they're also villains, but you're, you're kind of torn. Peter Parker's torn. Like these are people that I know that I care about. And then they became these assholes. So I don't know what That's to right. do. <laughs> so yeah, no, you're, you're absolutely right. Like yeah. with every character, there's that duality, uh, you know, with the heroes, they have their, their personal lives, right. They're trying to balance that with being this normal person, you know, Oh, awesome. We got a phone call going on. Perfect. But, uh, <laughs> uh so you got your your normal lives and then you have your your superhero lives and all the things that that entails right so uh that is actually you know that translates the same with the the your villains right we're not just your two-dimensional just uh, evil bad guys like the even the bad guys have their motivations and especially when it comes to mr negative you know obviously we saw with the first game you know, he was running the fee center. He was a good dude, and he even had reasons. You could sympathize for for his plight and and kind of why he did the things he did, which just makes it uh, such a rich character, right? And as an actor, again, really fun to play because, like I said, you know, coming up in the industry, uh, I'm a little bit older, so you know, a lot of the TikTok generation doesn't really <laughs> realize this, but it was kind of tough coming up, you know, especially when it comes to you know, parts for us that the guys that look like me and that you and me, right, where it's like, okay, we could really sink our teeth into. Usually it was just like, oh, okay, how can I look cool and then fight and then get beat up? And now it's just like a, especially with Spider-Man, it's a whole different game. So on that, I'm really appreciative too. And, uh, you know, again, all the credit goes to the writing team, Ben Arfman and Lauren Me. Uh, so I give it up to them. 
and again the universe and and the universe so, yeah and exactly. spider-man too yeah and yeah. and with that uh yeah because right now after spider-man you're doing a lot of things a lot of like video game projects and etc but you're still doing others you're still doing the movie stuff too but i want to talk about uh let's say uh gotham knights uh jason todd because yeah. that's sure that's yeah, uh that was, i feel like that that's was, like uh, yeah go ahead <laughs> that was also a, no totally like a dream come true you know i didn't even know what we were auditioning for right so they gave us this kind of uh the scene where uh, you know it's basically jason todd is at uh we can say it because the game's out was at bruce wayne's funeral right and so there's this big monologue but they didn't say who the characters were there was a little bit of me that was kind of piecing it together though it was like oh, this kind of seems like jason todd it feels like i'm talking <laughs> about batman so yeah to be in both the the batman universe and the spider-man universe is again really just uh surreal totally surreal uh the the obviously gotham knights was kind of a different scenario because we were filming shooting that during covid so a lot of things got affected like i was able to do a, a bits and pieces of the mocap there but most of the motion capture was kind of done by the very talented team up in um, montreal uh and so a lot of that was like voiceover just like super heavy voiceover but uh still a pleasure and i do think you know in a few years i think people will come to appreciate gotham knights for what it is <laughs> and then you know and then uh and then we'll be all good yeah yeah because uh yeah no i i, I see the uh i haven't had a chance to play it yet but it's sure. like the the gameplay uh, the the difference between that and the Batman Arkham games, right? Uh, so so I understand where yeah. like certain well, yeah, criticisms are coming from. It, yeah, yeah. It, well, and for me, it's like uh, the gameplay is reminiscent. Actually, in Gotham Knights, it's a little more reminiscent of the Spider Man games, right? Which were already kind of uh, influenced by Arkham as well. But it's it is interesting to see kind of some of the the influences that each of the the games have with each other. But, you know, all I can say to, to that is Arkham fan base and the Batman fan base is just as passionate as the Spider-Man fan base. And I'm just happy that a few people are digging, you know, the performances because that's what's important to this guy right here. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> we put out good work and then the fans dig it. That's totally cool. Yeah. And with that, like you just mentioned, how the uh, the team for Arkham is doing like the uh, motion capturing, you're just more focused on the voice acting, right? Yeah. And so, how does that feel now? Like, oh, they don't want me for my 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 body now, it's just for my voice. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Isn't that a funny way to put it? Oh, you don't want me for my body now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah look, if I had it my way, I would always do motion capture and, and you know face performance with the dot and we have the technology now where obviously you're able to make it so close to the the performance on the day uh so i always love it when i'm able to do everything now if they say oh we just need you for this yeah i'll be okay let's be real john what's up let's just be real <laughs> yeah a little part of me is like oh you don't want my face my beautiful face <laughs> right but like <laughs> Like I said, I will say the positives of doing voiceover are there is a freedom, actually, to just having your voice because you're able to play with it more. Uh, you know, when you have your voice and your face, there is like there's just something that you can never escape from that. Right. There, there, just how people see it. So, yeah, sometimes when it's just your voice, you're able to be a little more free creatively a little bit wackier a little bit bigger if you want you know so that's i try to find the good in in each of the, the performances oh yeah and like just uh now uh you know just doing everything now i don't know where your trajectory is what you want to do in the future yeah. like let's say more more video games more voice voiceover or uh just live action but featuring more of your face and etc I'm, I'm pretty sure you want to do everything <laughs> yeah yeah well you're not wrong i do want to do everything yeah i mean look the dream for me has always been to yeah be in 
just act, right? And for it was always like act in movies, right? So kind of like my big dream was always like Star Wars or Lord of the Rings, those kind of things, right? Yeah. Uh, so if I could be in any of those, you know, Amazon, Netflix, HBO, call me, I'm your boy. But also the beautiful thing about video games now is you're right. It's like they are using so much face capture now that it's sometimes it's like almost indistinguishable. And now with the Unreal Engine, whatever number they're on, five or five, six, yeah, five, five right now, five, yeah. Five, like, let me tell you, some of the stuff that they're doing is incredible. So, uh, like I said, video game industry is already bigger than movies. You know, maybe video games is just maybe that's where it's at. I don't know. Wherever they'll have me, I wanna, I wanna be. Oh yeah, that. and another yeah. Uh, game that just came out. Mortal Kombat one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's good. I think it's good for you right now. Now that like the, uh, <laughs> like you're, you're doing this, you're doing a lot of the video game stuff. You can just keep talking about that. And then let's say That's whenever, right. whenever that other thing gets to, yes. uh, then you can, you can like just transfer over. So you're exactly, like at a exactly. good spot. <laughs> like, like bounce back and forth. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Mortal Kombat also was very cool. You know, I, 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 can, I can't say who I did the sounds for, but, you know, they have characters and then they have, you have like actors come in to do like the action uh, sounds. Oh, you got a cat. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, <laughs> so yeah, when that, when, you know, I guess when the character is announced, then I can say who I did it for. But it was very cool, very surreal doing, doing the, the action voices for that. And hey, Mark my words. They promised me. Okay, they promised. They said we're going to get you in as a character, Stephen. I was like, I'm going to hold you to it. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, and then outside of that, there is a top secret video game project that I'm very excited to be about uh, to to announce one day soon. I just wish I sound like an uh, I sound like <laughs> I'm making stuff up, but I'm not. I wish I could tell you guys, but it's so so exciting. And uh, yeah, once it's announced. Trust me, I'm going to be everywhere telling y'all everything about it when I can. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for that. And let's say uh, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Uh, what was the what would be the character that you want to play as? Because oh. now, now you could be like anyone because you're Arkham. Uh, yes. Was it that? Gotham Knights. You were Jason Todd. Yeah. So now you could just pick whoever. <laughs> That's right. Well, you know, maybe in Melina wanna... or Katana. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I will say this then. All right. Because. You know, I, I know a few of the actors that are actually the voices. So to say this, I would never take away from them. Right. But yeah, if I could be anybody who wouldn't want to be Scorpion, I'd want to be Scorpion. OK, or let's be real. Johnny Cage. I think that guy's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. And he's an actor and a martial artist. That's... So I would love to do any of those characters. Would you ever get the Johnny Cage tattoo on your chest? Oh, like a real tattoo? <laughs> or or I've just been like... About it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about it. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, maybe I should get a neck tattoo just to like be cooler, you know. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And so have you ever done the uh, cosplaying stuff or... <laughs> I have never done cosplaying. Do you think I should? Uh, people would be excited. I think so. Yeah. Like, let's say, let's say you're promoting Spider-Man two, and, sure. uh, it's like Stephen O. Young. Uh, and then he's, he's out as Mr. Negative. So everything sure. about you is Mr. Negative. You're glowing. People would oh, go man. nuts. Yeah. I, I have you, yeah. Have yeah, you seen do... Tom Hiddleston when he was like low, low key yeah. promoting like so, yeah. stuff like that? That's like, right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I would do that. I think the ironic thing is though, I probably get recognized more when I'm outside of a suit than when I'm in a suit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what it is about that, but yeah. So but that, actually that would be leads good. Kind of into Spider-Man too. Like, you know, as you see him, he does, he's got his Martin Lee's got a whole new look, long hair, beard, and the orange, you know, jumpsuit from the raft. So uh, <laughs> I think it's pretty exciting. <laughs> and uh, so there's, okay. More video game talk just because. Yeah, Absolutely. Cyberpunk the only 20. thing we can talk about. It's the yeah. only thing we can talk about. Uh, <laughs> video games, yeah. unless you're doing comic books that I don't know about. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not writing any comic books. No. Oh, but my good friend, Christopher Sean, who played Nightwing, 
on Gotham Okay, Heights. there you go. Yeah, he and his uh, his lovely partner, uh, she and him are writers, and I think they 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 wrote a comic book for for DC. I think it's coming out either this month or next, something like that. So shout out to Christopher Sean writing for DC Comics. Uh, but me, no, I'm a terrible writer. <laughs> and this is actually the third time in two days that somebody has asked me, "Oh yeah, do I write?" And yeah. I'm like, maybe this is the universe telling me I should get into it. I don't know. Try, we'll try dabbling. Why, why not? Yeah. Yeah. You're like yeah. doing the other things. Yeah, you're branching off slowly. Yeah, uh, exactly. We're on strike. <laughs> what else are we doing, right? It's like yeah. Like, no, because I know. Uh, what is it? I, I was uh, interviewing Daniel Wu, right? And oh, he's what? he's part of a he's part of a comic book right now. Is he really? What, yeah. You, when did you interview Daniel Wu, my brother? I, Look, I, I, I I chatted with him yeah, last right. week about <laughs> yeah. So yeah, because he's right. not he can't talk about the other stuff too. So he's talking sure. about comic book sure. stuff. <laughs> and when he talked about it, he loved working on comic books because he's able to just be able to create and not wait yeah. on the whole Hollywood system on you know waiting oh, yeah. whether uh, you're going to get the part or you know like he could just go and do it instead of. Uh, going out there and auditioning and auditioning and auditioning. Absolutely. Listen, that, that, you know, and I read an article about Mark Wahlberg saying the same thing about why he started his production company. Trust me, it's been on my mind forever. I mean, I could just lie to you and be like, yeah, I have a production company. You know, we're making stuff for myself <laughs> to star. And I, the truth is, yeah, I'm always constantly thinking about, you know, something to do of, of my own to kind of, Pull like a Goodwill Hunting or something, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, make something, put it out there, and, and try to make an impact. Uh, so yeah, for sure. If you got a good story idea, you know, hit me up, throw it out there. I'm always looking. Yeah, for yeah. No, there's so many different examples, like Daniel with a comic book, and then yeah. uh, uh, other actors doing other things, and yeah. Because right now, right, like when I'm interviewing, so I'm not doing a whole sure. interviewing for movie stuff. So I'm interviewing actors that are working yeah. on different projects. So the reason why I did Matthew Lillard, so I was talking to him about Dozens and Dragons. Yes, and right. so he's he's doing licensing, publishing Dozens and Dragons yeah. stuff, a D and D right. show, and yeah. a whiskey. So maybe that. Oh yes, whiskey. So it, that's the other thing for <laughs> sure. Like I would do like a soju. That yeah, like soju. My, yeah. Yes, but that, I I put that more as like my twenty year plan, right? Everybody's got plan. like five, ten, twenty. Yeah, I want to be like George Clooney and and have like a soju brand. He had his tequila, but I do like instead of Casamigos, it'd be like I don't know, Stephen whatever the word for uh, houses in Korean, but like <laughs> it'd be like <laughs> some kind of soju. Build that up. I think that would be super cool uh, and do that. But yeah, you know, same thing with Matthew Lillard and all those guys. Like, you know, as actors, we do have a lot of downtime, right? And so, like I said, I, I am always thinking about, I'm racking my brain. What can I do to like do something? But, you know, the problem with me is like, when I want to do something, I want it to be uh, like perfect right out the gate. And it's like, that's yeah. not how this works, right? Like you have to yeah. struggle, suffer, kind of mold something from nothing, right? And it takes a lot of trial and error and it takes a lot of mistakes. And it, talk, it takes a lot of like just that strength, inner strength to see it through. And, you know, a lot of young people and a lot of people on YouTube and TikTok and creators, content creators, they have that. They're able to do that. Guess who doesn't have the stamina this guy i'm like <laughs> i like wait like a vampire for a role and then i'm like yeah. okay this is a role i can do this you know so i guess what i should do is just be friends with more writers you know what i mean so that they can write yes. this stuff play to your strength people that is my thing <laughs> yeah right? yeah uh befriend writers and artists and all exactly. that yeah yeah and then they can and then everybody can help each other so but you're not wrong. Like I, I, I should definitely get on it. You know, especially as a, okay, I guess it's like eye rolling time. But <laughs> we're all talking about like Asian American representation and stuff. But it's like I do see so many more Asian American actors out there doing their thing. So you know, good for them. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. And I guess that's just a signal for me to do the same thing. So. In the meantime, though, you can see me on Spider-Man 2. That, that's the most representation <laughs> that I can offer.
Yeah, Spider Man <laughs> Two and uh, a lot of other video games. Uh, Cyberpunk twenty seven seven. There's right. a there's yeah. a there's a part in a mission in that. And yeah. Death Stranding Two, right? Uh, that's right. Death Stranding yeah. Two. Yeah. So I was in one. I was in two. That's right. So you'll hear my voice occasionally. Uh, you know, sprinkled around. Yeah. And and it was a Death Stranding Two is going to become a movie. So maybe like in the future oh, yeah <laughs> oh man is that see i didn't even know that you didn't, oh, I yeah gotta yeah go up, i gotta hit up my boy kojima sign yes yes like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like what up what's happening exactly. what's going on remember me yeah yeah exactly. yeah because absolutely. because just running is like motion capture the face thing everything absolutely. so yeah it'll yes. be perfect yeah why wouldn't he bring back the same people you know so oh absolutely. yeah yeah <laughs> so okay after after this uh I'll, I'll start wrapping this up but for you sure. uh voice acting uh stunts and all that yeah. any any particular thing let's say you mention like a superhero character you know like, sure. other than oh. other than uh jason todd but anyone oh, is else like a, is there like like for you oh, wow that's a good one let's Let's put our heads together for this one. Wow. I mean, yeah. to, be, to be like a superhero. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Maybe someone specific or maybe like a new character. Let's go with new, okay. like a new superhero character. And Oh, sure. Yeah. Well, gosh, I mean, look, if I could just be me, that would be amazing. But if <laughs> I have to be like, a, you know, some kind of established character, I tell you what, if they're, if they, I know they got a, an Asian Superman. Oh, there you go. That. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some multiversal thing like that. I would love to do something like that for sure. Or tell you what, any of the X-Men characters. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, dude, make me Jubilee. I don't care. Let's do this. You know, it's 2023. <laughs> yeah. We can make anything yeah. happen now. Right. Like, yeah. So Jubilee or, uh, yeah, <laughs> just, <laughs> but yeah, don't know. No, there's a lot of X-Men characters. Uh, yeah. that, that could be, that could be good. But <laughs> my mind's making yeah. on like a, like a character, but, no, no, I'm with just, you. You know, I'm with you. Like any kind of X Men character, I would love to do that. Whether it's in a video game or a movie, yeah, or anything, yeah. But like, truly, I think what I'm shooting for next in my career, yeah, is is like just get on one of these like, you know, one of these Amazon shows. Okay, like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? One of these like Netflix shows. And like I said, my genre truly is like sci fi. Uh, fantasy action, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. I love anything like that. So that's kind of what I'm shooting for. But again, you know, what's coming up in the future is there, like I said, there's this, ugh, I'm telling you, I sound like a liar, but I'm not. There's a huge. <laughs> okay. No, I believe you. I believe you. Why would I, why would I not, why would I not believe you? You're like, you're already in Spider-Man. You're like, you're doing so many already. Like, it's like, no, one, one, one extra project that Steven said, nah, no way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's full of, nah, he's full of it. Yeah. So, yeah. But like I said, when that is announced, oh, trust me, you guys will be yeah. the first. I will tell you. Yeah. Okay. So sweet. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I'll, I'll wrap this up now and I just want to say thank you for doing the interview. Absolutely. And I can't wait to play Spider-Man 2 when it comes out. Me too. Uh, can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's been a pleasure, John. You're the man. No, no, you're you're the man. <laughs>